Hey folks, I'm just making this quick update video on the uh, most recent patch. Uh, there's some pretty large COF nerfs in here. The first one being Arena Keys and Arena Keys of Memory have their gold costs reduced by almost the whole amount. They're pretty much worth nothing now, so don't do that prophecy anymore. And I'm a little bit disappointed by this change. They're talking about the, uh, the burden on Merchant Guild players. I feel like already at the highest level, Merchant Guild is the strongest. If you look at the top corruption pushers, they're mostly Merchant Guild just because of the way uh, trade interacts with other players, how you can buy the items of, of everyone. Even if even if you have a huge drop boost from COF, you, you still can't compete with the collective drops of everybody if you're playing the market correctly. So a, a little bit disappointing. Uh, the second one here is they prevented the XP tomes from being doubled. So this is a direct nerf to the rate at which um, COF levels and gains favor. Uh, I'm a little hesitant to say nerf just because it's it's technically a bug fix. What this meant in practice was that COF players were leveling significantly faster than Merchant Guild players just because they got a lot more experience from the Echo Reward experience tomes. Now these are a very large chunk of your experience and favor early on relative to monster kills. However, the XP tomes do not scale with corruption. So that means that as you push further into the game and at higher levels of corruption, you'll notice this change less and less. Uh, as far as what the change will actually mean for you, early on in Monoliths, you'll be getting roughly 80% of the experience and favor you were before. And as you push higher, that will approach maybe 95% of the experience and favor you were getting before. For those of you who are curious, I've also updated my spreadsheet. I've made a note of the gold nerf on the XP to gold conversion sheet and on the XP to unique conversion. Some of you are probably wondering whether or not it's still worth running the XP tome echoes if it's still the best echo in the game for favor. And the answer is yes, it's still the best. Uh, the only difference that I've made here is I've updated the COF rank 5 calculation. So you'll see previously when you had rank 5, the average favor would be 1900. And now when you check the box, it does not impact the favor. However, all other echoes that provide items are still impacted by rank 5. So when you check the box, the alternative echoes do get a little bit better. And what that means is that the, um, the value that you get from the XP echo relative to other echoes is lower. So you're probably still going to be coming out ahead. Note that um, as, you, as you get further into COF, the advantage is further. So earlier on, it is actually possible that the difference between the XP Tome echoes and the um, non-XP Tome echoes will actually be pretty similar. However, even in a worst case scenario, the XP Tome Echoes are still the best. Absolutely do them. Don't, don't miss out, even when you're level 100. And while you're leveling, you want to do the XP Tome Echoes anyway, because they give the most experience. So yeah, still prioritize XP Tome Echoes. So it's not the end of the world, but uh, I, I am hoping that there will be some, some sort of buff towards the end game COF experience. Anyway, that's uh, that's my update for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and cheers.